Okay, um, hi, this is Emily, um, probably gonna be vlog three or four, I haven't vlogged in a while, uh, but a lot has happened, um, but I think I'm gonna call this one, uh, chronic problem, something like that. I was thinking about it while I was taking a shower, my hair is still wet, so, it's so nasty, ugh. Um, but it's 10.03 p.m. right now, and, uh, it's June 19th, 2015. It's a Friday. Um, I think, uh, what I wanted to say is just, I think I just wanted to kind of, like, vent. I don't really have, like, I guess that's what a vlog is about, but, oh my gosh, a minute's passed by. Um, okay, so I'll talk fast. I don't want to make a long vlog, um, but I've just had this problem that I've been dealing with for quite a long time, um, and, uh, I know it's a mental problem, um, it's a mental problem, so it's kind of, like, all in my head, um, but, um, I don't even know where to start, like, where do I start? Because I feel like it's such a long story and it's such a long journey. Um, in my previous video, I think I said that, like, I was going to make, like, a series on it, like, a video. I just don't even know where to start because there's just so much. Um, but I guess I don't have to give you in detail. So, um, I'll just kind of give you... I don't think I'm going to be doing that series of, like, what I was going to talk about. Maybe sometime in the future, but whatever. Um, I'll just talk about it here, um... In a nutshell, as fast as I can. Oh my gosh, two minutes passed. Um, so, basically, it's 2015. And the problem I have is, obviously, it's a love problem. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, let me just give it to you in a nutshell. Um, 2009... I met this um, amazing guy. Let's just call him A. A. Let's just call him A for right now. Um, and he was actually like really amazing, very inspiring. Um, uh, I'm a musician and he was too and he loves God and I do too. And um, we had a lot of, man, it was a, we had a lot of moments, uh, we never really, like, we never had, like, much physical time together, so, like, we didn't, it was kind of, like, we didn't have, like, a long-distance relationship, like, we weren't dating or anything, um, but we were kind of talking a lot, like, a lot, um, back then, MySpace was the thing in 2009, yeah, that happened a lot, there were a lot of, um, phone calls, you know, and, we were hoping to invest in something. Um, anyways, what happened was he uh, stopped all connections, and I uh, I was just kind of like left wondering, what am I gonna like? Should I wait? You know, or maybe he'll come back, and you know, something will happen, or what's gonna happen? And he's the kind of person that like he like values relationships with people, you know, so he, uh, he would pop in, he occasionally, like, even now, well, up till now, like, he has been, um, like, he pops in every three or four months, you know, I mean, like, doesn't really keep up as much, but then he does, you know, like, at the same time, like, he doesn't leave you hanging, um, for more than three or four months, like, he'll just call me, or he'll text me, and he'll just be like, hey, you know, how's it going, how you been? Um, but, like, we were talking, and I was feeling, like, I was, I was really young, okay? So then, that's why a lot of people are kind of like, this doesn't make sense. Um, but I'm 21 now, and this happened when I was 14, okay? And, um, um, for me, I feel like I'm, like, a very, uh, old soul. And so, like, when, even when I was 14, I felt like I was, like, 21. And so now that I'm 21, I feel like I'm, like, 35. I don't know. Um... But, yeah, what happened was, uh, he stopped talking to me, sorry, I'm just, like, rambling, but he stopped talking to me, I think, for about a year or two, and I was just waiting, literally, I was waiting, because I had a great experience with this guy, like, like, 
there were some nights where we would just talk about like life and the personal things and family and um everything that happened in our in our lives you know not much happened when you're like 14 but then like also like you're going through like a lot of like emotional stuff and we like talked about it together you know and we he prayed for me you know he prayed with me um we read the bible together sometimes and he talked to me about my experiences and we talked about music a lot because both of us were in music and um up until now too like sometimes i'll text him and ask him about music stuff like um theory or questions or if i can like compose a song or like if he has any song suggestions from like certain eras and you know like it was just amazing and i think he's actually a really inspirational person um even till today um uh, but, like, I think that's why it's so hard to let go, you know, because, like, for me, like, he is, like, I don't know, man. He was, like, like, I don't want to think about it too much because if I think about it too much, you know, I will get emotional and I don't want to get emotional. But, oh, my gosh, that's six minutes. Um, but basically, like, when he cut all connections, I was left just waiting, and, um, it was probably, like, two or three years, and this was, like, right when I entered high school, and then it was my junior year of high school, and I was like, this is ridiculous, you know, like, why am I still just here waiting? I still feel exactly the same when, uh, he left, you know, when he stopped talking to me. And then I started dating, you know, because I talked to some of my friends and they're like, you know, what? you should date, you know, um, just get your keep your options open. You should date so that you can get over him. So I dated this one guy and um, I told him from the beginning too. I was like, you know, I actually don't feel right about this because if I'm dating you, it's like I'm just dating you to get over this other guy that I'm actually in love with, you know. And he was just like, you know, what? that's okay. Like, let me be that stepping stone for you. And he was saying that too. And I was just kind of like, okay. And so we just kind of dated too. But then, like, that ended too. Because I knew, like, I knew I didn't want to waste any more of his time. And um, I knew I was wasting my time because I was like, man, this isn't working. Like, I'm physically with this guy. I'm mentally somewhere else. Like, I'm mentally with A right now, you know? And so I just, like, I ended that. And, and um, yeah. And so that was my junior year. And then I realized, you know what? I can't get over him. Like, because, you know, for me, I, I was just reflecting that over to, like, the Bible says, you know, that, um verse like the love verse basically like love is patient and love is kind and not jealous love does not boast and all that stuff and I was just reading through that and I was like that was exact that is exactly how I feel like I I'm not boastful about our love like the love that I have for him and I wasn't jealous you know of the love like I felt like I could wait for him forever and I could wait for him you know and so and so I still feel like that, you know. Um, but it's difficult even now. <sighs> um, gosh, I'm going to probably have to make like, this is probably going to be a really long video. But um, it's been five years, okay. And so um, it's actually coming up to the sixth. But just like in, so there's like a whole bunch of stuff that happened actually in between that. But then like. Just to sum it up, um, like, just in April, actually, um, he called me. Or I texted him, actually, because I was, because we, he, like I told you from the beginning, like, he kind of pops in and out. And so, like, um, I was kind of like, okay, you know, like, he popped in, and then, like, two weeks later, I was like, oh, you know, I, I guess I'll just text him, too. I texted him, too. And then he was like, oh, you know, like, I was just thinking about you, um, then he, like, calls me, and so, I was actually on the toilet, and so I didn't answer, but then I call him back, and he was driving, um, anyways, but this totally changed everything, this phone call changed the whole, the whole five years that I had been waiting, it changed everything, because this is what he said, actually, I was, like, really hurt, you know, and I've been waiting, you know, and 
This is what he said. You know, uh, he... I can't even tell you what he said. He apologized for everything that he had done. He said that he purposely had um, shut me out. And it was because he had personal problems, which I'm not going to say. But, um, and it was, for me, like, it's totally understandable. Um, but he said that he had shut me out, and it was kind of his way of um, coping and dealing with things, you know. And he didn't just shut me out, but it was, like, a few people, too. And I was just one of those people that he happened to shut out. And, um, and that he just stopped talking to, you know. And then he apologizes, and he's... Like, he just says, I'm sorry I did that. And, um, to you, you know. And for me, like, I was sitting over here, like, wondering, like, for five years. You know, like, five and a half, actually. Oh, sorry. But, like, five and a half years, and I was just kind of like, what? You know, like, are you, s like he knew this whole time you know that like he purposely shut me out and for me like it hurt me a lot but then at the same time like he apologized and for some reason like it just gave me closure to be like to feel like oh man he knew what was happening this whole time and then he apologized because he knows you know that he did wrong or that he made me not feel good and then I didn't know what else to say or do and, and I this is what I kept telling him. I was just like, you know what? That's okay. Because and the only reason why I said that's okay is because of his situation. Okay. And so I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, if that was the way that you dealt with things, I guess, you know. But for me, on the other side, like, it's like five and a half years and I'm still waiting. I still remember dates, you know. I like... I still remember, like, dates to down to the minute, you know, and down to the day of. And, I, like, I can't get that out of my head, you know, so it's hard for me to move on. Um, But, yeah, coming up on August 15th will be six years. And um, I don't even know. Like, and it's, and you're going to be... <sighs> I don't even know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, this is just a long story. So, I basically, it's just for me to look back on. But um, he, after he said that, and we hung up, like, I don't, I couldn't even deal with myself. I was in school, you know? So, I just, like, sat there, and my roommates don't really know about my story. So, I kind of just, like, gave them, like, a really quick like oh yeah there was this guy that I liked her five years ago and bam yeah, he just called me you know and then he just confessed and said this and he just apologized you know and now I feel like a blur and um yeah you know even till now I'm just kind of like messed up because that's a long time like I feel like I waited for a long time just to hear him say I'm sorry you know and then he said it and I do feel closure you know but I feel so so like um empty and i guess that's where this vlog ends <sighs> because now i'm like i don't know how to deal with this emptiness um it's almost six years i'm 21 uh i don't know how to get over this i really don't you know and a lot of i like and it's all like a mental game because that is kind of like how our relationship was. It was we connected on a personal um, on a personal level, like social level and spiritual level. Like we didn't connect on a like a oh based our relationship off of a physical relationship, you know. And so that's why it's a mental game because I'm just like I don't know. I just don't even know right now. But anyways, yeah, I am stuck here. So, I was just in here because I know I'm just going to keep talking. Um, but hopefully my next vlog I can talk more about, I don't know, how I'm going to overcome it. As of right now, I just kind of laid it out for you. <laughs>